We're here at uh, Bull Shooters here in Phoenix, getting ready for a fight tomorrow night. Uh, one of the participants is Thomas Kofi here out of Phoenix, Arizona. He's going to be going with uh, Elijah Sweat, four rounds, 175 light heavyweight division. Thomas Coffey's here with us. And uh, Thomas, uh, tell us about your uh, how you started in boxing and your experience. Well, I started boxing probably about seven years ago when I moved to Houston after I finished playing college football. Um, had a lot going on in life, and I just – I was like, all right, I need to go in here, get back, get in shape, figure out something I need to do, especially once football was done. Uh, started at the Charlo gym, started boxing probably just like three months, went to a Golden Gloves tournament, won that, got in a little bit of trouble, and then just been fighting from there. Did a couple, um, you know, smokers here and there. I've done some Muay Thai. I've done like about 20 total fights between Muay Thai and, and boxing. And then I met CJ a couple of years ago when I was out here, started training with him. I got in a little bit more trouble, but now I'm done. I'm not on probation, not on bail. I don't have nothing over my head no more. And I was like, hey, I ain't got time to waste. I got time, but no time to waste. So I've been putting in a lot of work these past few months, through six months to a year, honestly, to get back to where I got to go. This is the best I've ever felt. Well, that, you know, box is made by stories. you got a real good trainer with CJ. He, he trains really well. And uh, when I met you and I watched you spar, I knew right away that you're a good fighter. Um, circumstances lead in life that maybe slow us down a little bit, but I think you got the right story and I think you can do well. And uh, you've been around some uh, really good fighters. Yes, sir. From when talking to you with the Charlos, I, I worked with the Charlos when I was with Golden Boy and they, you know, they're their own story. They're world champions, you know. Yeah. And, uh, then you were in Vegas, and I'm pretty sure that kickboxing stuff's coming in, but um, no. Vegas is a lot of place. Yeah, I was in top rank. I sparred uh, with a couple of the Vargas brothers, um, you know, a couple of high-level pros out there, UFC and boxing-wise. Mm -hmm. So I, I got I got all the training experience and experience I need for sure. So it's just like I said, I ain't got time to waste. I got time, but no time to waste. <laughs> Yeah, you, you're still uh, young enough that you can make something happen in boxing. And when I first met you and seen you sparring, I, I told CJ, he can fight. Yes, sir. And I, I know you can fight. So um, your opponent, um, Elijah Sweat, he's two and two, and you're a pro debut. And it's uh, he's a tough kid, but you never know what's going to happen in boxing, you know. So yeah. and when that bell rings, it's it's all on you guys. Yes, right? sir. It's, you guys got to go in there and perform and do the best you can. And uh Best of luck to you. I appreciate you, and sir. And we'll see what happens. Yes, sir. All yes, right. sir. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Okay. We're here with the co-main event, Sapelli. I knew, and I'm probably not saying it right, but. <laughs> oh, it's uh, Anau. Anau. Yeah. Sapelli Anau. He's a heavyweight fighter. He'll be uh, squaring off against Brian Hall from Sacramento, um, a seasoned fighter, and you're one and one, and I think he's one and two or one and three, but I think it's going to be a good fight. So tell us a little bit about yourself. I know you're an athlete. You were a football player. Uh, you're currently a work as a firefighter. So let, let's tell us a little bit about your boxing experience. Um, let's see. I'm from Phoenix, Arizona. Just picked up boxing just as a as a hobby, and uh, my trainer Aaron just says, "Hey, man, if you want to if you want to try this out, I feel like you can you can really do something with this." Um, so now we're here, you know, I'm just having fun with it, growing, growing every day and just learning new things every, every training session. And yeah, just, just having fun and just going with the flow of it, of everything and just working hard and, you know, just putting my best foot forward. Yeah, that's good. I've seen a uh, pleasure watching you guys fight. And I've, I've seen when you fought, uh, Novato, which was a good fight. I mean, I know. There was some circumstances in the fight where you're actually pretty sick with a really bad cold, and it came out on you. And that's all it's hard, but you did well. I know you had hurt him early in the fight, but uh, he, he he got through it. But hey, that's how things go sometimes. And you know, you did you did real well, and I expect to see a good fight tomorrow night. Yeah. And I think everything's going to be good. Yes, sir. Anything 
you want to say to your fans out there? I know you got a fan base here uh-huh. in Phoenix. I uh, know. I just appreciate everyone for their love and support. Um, all thanks to God. Wouldn't be here without them. And uh, love my family. Oh, yeah. Got a newborn on the way. Yeah. Number two. I heard, so. I heard that. Yeah. Shout out to my wife. There you me. go. Yeah. <laughs> That's great. All right. All right. Have That's a great right. fight. Thank All you. Right. We're here with Isaac Aguilar. He's from uh, Mexico. What part of Mexico is he from? Culiacan. Oh, I've been to Culiacan. It's nice. Okay. Uh, Isaac, tell us a little bit about yourself and your boxing career. Okay. Bueno, pues yo empecé alrededor de los 12 años en Olímpico. Me tocó foguearme mucho por muchas peleas. Me tocó ir a Cuba, aquí a Estados Unidos y toda la parte de México me tocó visitar para pelear. So you fought all over Mexico and you've yeah. been, you even went, did you go to, when he went to Cuba, did he fight in a tournament there or? Cuba. Sí, era internacional. And you, you were the, in a, uh, Mexi- Mexico's boxing uh, Olympic team, right? Yeah. Was uh, Oscar Valdez there too? At the time? Me tocó cuando yo iba entrando, él iba ya de salida. Sí, me tocó verlo en las competencias. He was already done. Okay. Yeah. So, what 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 can you tell us about your opponent, uh, Adam Lopez? What 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 do you know about Adam? Pues la verdad no lo conozco mucho y no, simplemente que, que le eche ganas también como uno lo está haciendo y, y pues arriba del ring se sabe todo. So I know this fight uh, with Adam, uh, they've been trying to make it for a, a few fights ago and then we, we were lucky enough that um, Adam's opponent dropped out and he, he, he stepped up to the plate. So I expect a really good uh, competitive fight six rounds um what does he feel of how does he feel going into the fight and what's uh what's his perspective of the fight No, pues que es una oportunidad, como dicen, que si, si él ha estado esperando esta pelea desde hace tiempo, desde hace mucho, pues que aproveche la oportunidad también y, y pues que aquí estamos ya para, para darle para adelante para la pelea. How did your weight cut go? You were good on his weight, his weight. That's a bit low peso. Yeah. Stop you? Sí, ahí estamos. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. Gracias. No, de nada. Hey. Igualmente. Un Muchas placer. Gusto. Good, good, good fight. No. Okay. Good luck. Okay. Thank you. Muchas okay. gracias. Uh, again, Roger Woods, matchmaker for OG Boxing. I'm here with Slava Maru, uh, Mezus. Me- Mezus. Mezus. Great name, I think. Um, I had a pleasure working with Slava a little bit at Guadalupe Gym, and uh, he went on to turn pro. Uh, did he's he's doing good? He's a really good boxer, and uh, he's going to be going up against uh, Benjamin Rose tomorrow night. Um, so we're here with Slava. He's from Phoenix right now, and uh, Slava, tell us about your training regimen and. Uh, uh, how you feel about the fight that's going to happen tomorrow night? Yeah, thank you for the kind words, Roger. Mm-hmm. Uh, I, I feel great. This is the best training camp. Uh, I know it sounds very cliche to say, but this is the best training camp I've had since my amateur days. Um, back almost 10 years ago from where I started, I've been fighting at the same weight. Uh, so I know how to maintain and what it takes to, to achieve it. 
yeah, I've had the pleasure to watch you in the gym and watch you sparring. And I think right now at this point, you're you're boxing real well right now. And uh, it looks like uh, it's going to be a great fight. Um, I have high hopes for you. And uh, I think it's going to be a great fight tomorrow. I agree. Uh, I take professional boxing and I, I put in everything I got. Uh, I, I know the sacrifices, the dedication that it takes to to succeed. And uh, my preparation will lead to my success. So I hope everyone will tune in tomorrow uh, and watch me fight uh, broadcasting and showcasing live in Phoenix, Arizona, here at Bull Shooters. And we're streaming live all over the U.S. So come support. All right, Greg. All right. Um, I'm here with, uh, again, my name is Roger Woods. I'm a matchmaker for OG Boxing. We have an excellent fight coming up with Adam Lopez and Isaac Aguilar. These guys have been wanting to fight each other for a, for a little while. And now it's, it's come to pass now that we're going to have this fight. Adam Lopez is looking really good uh, in the gym. I watched him sparring, and he looks good. And he's uh, a young up-and-coming fighter here in the Phoenix area. You're out of Tolleson, right? Correct. Okay, so he's out of Tolleson, Arizona, and uh, tell us a, a little bit about your uh, boxing career and how you got started, and uh, what do you expect to do tomorrow night? Uh, right now, I'm 2-0. I just knew I always wanted to box, so and tomorrow night, we're just going to win by any means necessary. There you go. Come out victorious. And how, how are you about your training coming up? I know you... You, you're a hardworking guy. you got a business that you, you run and uh, you work hard at it and you do training at night. So tell us about your training. How did it go? Training camp went good. We've been in it for a while now. So we train hard. We train mornings, nights, twice a day. So we're ready for anything tomorrow. All right. Yeah, this is a fight I've been wanting to see for a while since I met you and I've seen Aguilar fight a couple fights and I've watched all your fights. So um, yeah, they've been throwing this name at me for a while. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's like it's like they're obsessed with this guy or something. I don't know. Good, but good. We'll so, shut it down tomorrow. All right. So, what do you expect? What do you expect to see from him tomorrow? And what what do you expect from yourself? Or how what what what's going on here? Out of him, it's probably nothing I've never seen before. You know, okay. you see me spar, so yeah, I spar. Yeah, yeah. Good guy. I spar all types of styles, so it uh -huh. doesn't really matter what he got tomorrow. And uh, hopefully, we find a shut off button, but. <laughs> if not, you know, I still get the victory. Well, I've been a pleasure to watch you in the gym, and then uh, you train really hard and you spar hard, and I think it's you're you're a great up and coming fighter here in the Phoenix area. So, good luck tomorrow night, and I expect to see a great fight. Thank you. Three right. no tomorrow. <laughs> All right, sounds good. <laughs> Thanks. Okay, it's Roger Woods again. Um, I'm here with uh, Pig. He's one of the sponsors and uh he works with uh, og boxing since since it started and uh i'd like to have him what is your position what what do you what do you do for og i know you you well, get sponsorships and stuff like that what else and you're involved in this uh promotional uh company what's 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 going on here well first of all roger what's up man guy Thank you. Good seeing you, man. Good to see you. This guy works hard. We have not seen you, man. So <laughs> before you guys give a shout-out to me, let me get a shout-out to Roger right here. Thank you. Because he puts the fights on. He gets them together. So I know what's going on in the scenes because, I'm like I said, well, my name is Henry Pig, Fidel's partner. Uh, I remember when he came to me, I was his corner man. We were in boxing. He was, you know, doing rounds. And uh, he came to me and said, man, you've been doing this promotion game for 28-plus years. And the entertainment side and blah blah blah. I, I, I want I'm, I'm to start promoting. You know what I'm saying? I'm, mm -hmm. I'm going to start promoting. I'm going to do my. You know, I'm going to retire. And I remember when he was telling me that when we were we went to Tucson when he fought on the Mayweather. Uh, no, excuse me. Let me take that back. On the I forgot his name again already. Man, but we were out there. He had a fight, and uh, he, he fought me, the Dominican kid. Yeah, and then he fought on what's his name? Uh, fight, fight. The boxer, Roy Jones Jr. card. I'm sorry, yeah, Roy, Roy Jones Jr. Jones, yeah. Man, I got a brain fart there. I apologize <laughs> about that. Shout out to Roy Jones Jr., man. That's my fault. My bad, man. See what happened? Yeah. I uh, man, 
you know. Anyways, let me get back to it. Uh, he told me, man, I'm gonna start promoting, and I said, okay, cool, cool, cool. He's like, jump on with me, and I'm like, man, I just retired from all the other stuff, you know. I ain't doing clubs no more. I'm doing, come on, come on. So I said, you know what? Let's run it. You know, let's do it. And uh, so we did the first show, man. Great show. Came out good, and and like always. There's still bumps in the roads, and That's you know, it, you know, they're, they're always just, don't let them fake. Even the professional ones now, there, there's bumps in the roads all the oh, time. Yeah. There always is. Yeah. So he just came to that, and then he goes, "Man, be my partner. Help me do the entertainment part. You know, the promotion part, social media. Get on that. I, you do that. I know you pull. Help me sell some tickets. Get me some sponsors. So that's what I've been doing. I've been on my partner, and then I got fighters that call me, and I'm like, well. Why don't you call Fidel and then Fidel connect you to the person? Because I got fighters that call me all, every day. Good. And they'd be like, oh man, hey, let me get on that card, pig. I said, well, let me turn you over to my partner. There you go. And I, you know, I said, let me, I go, I'm not in that department. Right. You know what I mean? Because we all have our own. Thank job. you. Yeah. You, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Because yeah. then if you jump in here and then you jump in there, you know, you know mm -hmm. how it works. Yeah, yeah, exactly. But uh, best, best, best move I could have done. Fidel's a good guy, man. Oh, yeah. Let me tell you, guy. man. Um, don't get he's a hard ass. Yeah. But you got to be. You got to be, especially in boxing. But he's fair, and he's a fighter, man. People don't people don't understand in this promotion thing that he's a fighter. Like he fought, he's a he's a champion. Yeah, exactly. he carries a belt. Mm -hmm. He knows, and he, and uh, I'm just gonna go say this is the part he's been burned in this game in the past. Oh yeah. So he knows how they roll, mm -hmm. and he said. I don't want to do that with fighters. I want to be with the fighters. Right. Because I know what we've gone through. Do you understand what I'm saying? Oh, yeah. I know. So, and I said, damn, bro, I'm in. Let's roll. You know what I mean? Yeah. And he tried, like, you know, he told me, hey, every fight I want to give fighters, I want to let them keep their gloves. We did that the first fight when we first started. That and gets I, and, expensive. And then, I, you know, we, you know, we got to put numbers together. You know yeah, what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, exactly. And Fidel. You gotta come back. I, I understand. I, I I I definitely understand. You want to do that, but mm -hmm. you know everything takes its course. You know how it works out. Yeah, exactly. But uh, it's a it's a blessing, man. All right, Henry. OG boxing, man. That's it. That's OG boxing. So you know, round we're six. Trying to, we're, we're on six, man. Yeah, we're trying to grow up. So we're you know, to I mean, we're on round do six. The best we can, you know. You know, so um, we're quick like man, Roger again, the man here. Hey, shout out to OG boxing, seven sins. Richard Duarte, the designer, our flyer guy. Man, let me, there's so much people. The Pet Bull Store, Amy behind this. Let me tell you, Amy, too, man. Oh, yeah. She's, she's a great. grit, bro. Cause yeah. she does all she's she's in the front of the line, so she gets hit with everything. Yeah. So exactly. yeah. you know, so shout out to Amy, the Pet Bull Store. You know, everybody involved in this. This is not everybody thinks, oh, it's just one thing. No, man, it's a team. We're a team. And Man, I'm just blessed well, to be we just here, gotta man. Make, we just got to make it, it happen. happen, you know? That's it. And, uh, you know, I know uh, OG, he gets a little excited sometimes. We got to calm <laughs> him down. But, you know, that's what I said. Let me handle it. Uh, yeah, man. And, you know, the fighters, they, they come in, they drop out. And it, it's just the way the game is right now. It, that, that's how it is. It's like that all the time. It, Even in the big fights. And it's, with, yeah, exactly. And when that, I was with Golden yes. Boy, it was the same thing, yes, you know? Sir. So it's, uh, it's, yes. a, it's a fun game. Right. I, I enjoy it. And, right. Uh, I think we're gonna grow, and we got some. Oh man, we got bigger some, and better things coming. Oh, up. they're coming, and um, I want to tell the audience out there and everybody: look, man, log on to OG Boxing. Make sure you guys hit it. Check out all the social media. Hit me up, Seven Sins, Seven Sins World Rider IG. Also, go on my pool platform network at AZ Lowrider Events. We pop, I post everything up there. Make sure you come to OG, man. I'm telling you, the fights. Are off the chain. They get down. Our fights have been good. Yo, there we get, we I'm a, that's one thing I'm gonna tell you. When you come, you're coming from good entertainment, yeah. and that's what we try to put. We try to put entertainment, the best entertainment we can, out there for everybody to enjoy. And that's my main thing. Everybody that knows me out there knows that I'm trying to put the best entertainment out there for everybody else. That's my job to do for OG boxing, and that's what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to put the best entertainment out there. Whatever it is, whether it's I'm out there or I'm going to hire somebody or I'm going to do whatever I got to do. Man, we, this is an entertainment business, man. We got to get the crowd going. We got to get everybody going. So that's what I'm trying to do. All right. Good. It was a pleasure talking man, to you. Thank Henry. you, Roger, everyone. for having me. But once more time, everybody, 
Log on, get your OG boxing tickets. Make sure you, man, any event that pops up, we got some stuff coming up before the end of the year. Make sure you guys jump on, man, because I'm telling you, OG boxing ain't going on. We got round seven coming up. We got round eight coming up. We got them all. Co- <laughs> I'm promoting. You, you know me. I'm going. <laughs> so we got round eight, uh, seven coming up. Round eight coming up. Um, we're thinking about doing a New Year's Eve uh, party with everybody involved. That's for another occasion. But round seven, round eight is coming up. Fighters, call it. Call us and get a hold of us, man. We'll get you on the card. Let us know what's up. All right. Thank Let's you, go. man. OG boxing seven cents. We in the building. There you go. <laughs> Thank you, Henry. All right. It's Roger Woods again. And we're with, uh, I think, one of the best ring announcers in the state of Arizona right now, or even in the United States. He's a snappy dresser. I've always been impressed by Jeff. His name's Jeff Way. Um, he's got a good, unique story of how he got started in announcing boxing. And uh, I really like, like this guy. And like I said, uh, I'm glad you're on OG. Yeah, thank you, Roger. Appreciate it. And I appreciate that, tell sir. Tell us a little about how you started your career. I know you have a, a good story on there, and uh, I'd like to hear that again. You know, I appreciate it, Roger, and thank you for the kind words, uh, words of, you know, uh, admiration. It's been a lot of hard work. You've been involved in a lot of the hard work, and I didn't learn that overnight. You know, I got started back in 2015 and uh, I was talking amongst friends in in a cafe. And uh, next thing you know, there's a gentleman that approaches our table in a very awkward manner. It was just kind of threw us off a little bit. And uh, his name was Raul Parata. And you can find him at uh, uh, Combate Global doing MMA fights. Uh, He's very Puerto Rican and uh, he loves that Cubana nature. And he's a great guy. Um, he approaches and he says, hey, I, well, I, I, sorry for interrupting. I saw you walk in. Uh, you've got charisma. You've got size. you got a good look to you. And I could hear you talking and you articulate well and this and that. And I said, whoa, hey, hold on, man. I like girls. I, I don't know. I don't know what you – and he's uh, – you know, I got a chuckle out of the, those who were involved and we were just hanging out. And um, it eventually turned into him saying, hey, Z, you ever thought about being a ring announcer? And I really kind of looked at him and I was just like, you know, has anybody thought about ring? You know, you're not born with the idea that this is even a possibility. You know, people want to be firefighters, cops. They want to be, uh, you know, an astronaut. And uh, those are kind of some of the aspirations I had when I was a kid. I was 30, 32 years old when this was approached to me. And um, he let me sleep on it, right? He handed me a business card and he said, there's this... Uh, uh, MMA promotion out of Payson, Arizona, All Powers Combat. He's B-Bell, the Midnight Promoter, great cat. Uh, he's got an event coming up that I'm going to be associated with and in introducing those fights. Um, be my eighth or ninth event with him over the span of this nine years. And um, I called him on it, you know, and I was just like, hey, you know what? I'm a try everything kind of once kind of guy, you know, uh, depending on where the vodka comes from. But I'm the, really just, uh, you know, let's try it out. What, what, what can I lose from it? And um, I watched a few YouTube videos, you know, put on a wrinkled suit and uh, brushed my hair real nice. I got up there and at the end of the event, my friends, they let that, you know, they paid me 10 tickets to do whatever I wanted with as my pay. You know, we'll try you out, see how it goes. And at the end of it, I had uh, a lot of great words of uh, inspiration, um, accolades from it. Dude, you're born to do this. This is uh, something that it seems like you're made for and just late to the party. And I ran with it. Right, six foot eight, two hundred and ten pounds. Now lost a little weight. You know, I got kids, man. I got kids. <laughs> yeah, when I first seen you, I think you were doing uh, uh, Dennis Ryden Thunderbolt promotion show. I yeah. was really impressed with you, and you. really impressed how you uh, really dress up and uh, real sharp, man. I, and you don't really see it a lot at uh, announcers, and but uh, that's what really impressed me. And then, as far as your announcing is really well, thank you, Roger. And you've done your study, and uh, you do a great job every time I see you. Man. Thank you, Roger. You know, I'm always happy to see you. And then, when, when OG told me that he was going to be uh, the announcer, I was really, uh, I was really happy to hear that. You that's know, awesome, I think Roger. You do thank a you. Great job, man. That feels so, great to hear, man. I know uh, I'd have to add too, is like, you know. I'm six foot eight. I, I don't want to be cookie cutter. I'm really not, as you can sell with some right. of my introductions. And uh, um, I, I decorate myself like a Christmas tree sometimes. Man. Get up in there, enjoy it, be lively, keep the intensity and the attention of the crowd. 
but also understand I'm the last person that these fighters are looking in the eyes to and saying their name before they step into battle and combat. And I take that very seriously. I respect yeah, the sport good, and that yeah. notion. And uh, like I've met you and with uh, many of the other promoters with Fidel and um, Keith and all them. It's a great network and it's a small world, even though we're spread across very, very thin. I appreciate the time. You know, I look forward to this event. We got five great bouts, uh, a main event. There's a couple of pro debuts coming out. Uh, it's going to be a scrap. I appreciate yeah. it. It's going to be a good fight, and I think they're all competitive fights. And uh, we'll just see how it shakes out tomorrow. And then, uh, and I know you're going to do a great job on announcing it. It'll be it'll yes, be sir. A really good show. Thank you, Roger. Thank I, you. Once again, coming. I appreciate it, guys. Thank you. Yeah, you tell okay. Mel I appreciate him too. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, there guys. You Thank you. <laughs> Okay, uh, it's Roger Woods again, and I'm with uh, Brian Hall. He's out of uh, Sacramento. Fresno, California. Fres Fresno, California. Sorry about that. I always think he's in in uh, Sacramento, but he's out of Fresno. Experienced uh, heavyweight fighter. He's going up against uh, Sapelli Anu. And uh, I've had the pleasure of watching him fight a couple fights. I've seen him fight here in Arizona at the Mullet Arena, I thought he won the fight. Uh, they they called it a draw, but uh, you know it was a great fight. And uh, go ahead and tell us about yourself, Brian, and how you started boxing, and uh, what do you expect to do tomorrow night besides win and your preparation. Uh, my name is Brian Hollywood Hall, and uh, I started boxing in 2019. Uh, the thing that made me start boxing is I was a football player, but I kept messing up my ankle. And but I was going through a lot of things. 2019, I lost my uncle and then I lost my brother. And before my brother died, I asked him, like, how does he feel about boxing? And he was like, shoot, if I was your size, I'll do it and all that stuff. And then he died. And, you know, the passion of sports never left me. So that's when I joined all of them boxing gym and ever since then like I just I like the competition and for this fight uh I feel I feel really good man uh I feel mentally good and physically good about this fight I had a, a good camp and yeah we just we just ready man we yeah, just ready that's good I mean you know all fighters can turn their records around and uh I expect a good fight tomorrow night uh, uh, you guys are on the co-main event, so uh, I think it's going to be uh, a good fight, and I know you're ready for it. You've been training hard, and so is your opponent, so uh, we'll see how it shakes out tomorrow, and good luck on the on the fight. Oh, yes, sir, man. I mean, you know, Roger, you already know so with me, Roger. That's why you always have me come out here. Yeah, exactly. You know I'm going to bring something. Yeah, exactly, yeah. I know you fight, you you know, it's, it, and, and you hang in there. You know, mm -hmm. that's 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 a good deal. Yeah, tomorrow gonna be it's gonna be different tomorrow. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That'll be fine. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for coming and I expect a big fight from you tomorrow. Yes, sir. All right, thank, thank you. you. All right, it's uh here again with uh one of the fighters. He's gonna fight tomorrow night, uh Benjamin uh Benny Rose out of um you out of Phoenix or yeah, Phoenix, Arizona. Phoenix, Arizona. And he's gonna fight Slava Masus in uh in a light heavyweight or uh junior middleweight boxing match. So Benny, tell us about your preparation for the fight and uh what what do you expect tomorrow? <laughs> man, uh I've been preparing very, very hard, man. Um since my last fight, um I've made a lot of adjustments. I'm started sparring with a lot better people. Um, I started sparring with a lot more pros now, and I made that adjustment from kind of sparring with a lot more uh, uh, amateur guys to, to professionals and really, really good guys with really good records. That's made a huge adjustment in my game. Mm -hmm. um, I feel, I've, you know, um, I, I mean, my my training speak is going to speak for speak for itself, honestly. And I and I I, I put it I put in, put in a lot of work, and to be honest, man, I'm I'm super excited to to fight tomorrow. You know, yeah, it's good. I, I see in the first fight. Actually, I made the match. For your first fight with uh, Elijah Sweat, Elijah Sweat's going to fight tomorrow, and uh, you guys had a great fight. I mean, 
you know, when you have a four round fight and you, there's a knockdown, it's almost impossible to come back unless you knock the guy down. But it was a great even fight, uh, you know, but uh, you, you know what uh, to expect. Uh, I think this is going to be uh, uh, another barn burner. And, you know, later on, we're going to get you a rematch with uh, with Elijah Sweat. Or awesome. we'll figure we'll figure all that out once we get through this thing uh, tomorrow night. Perfect, because I know that's what we want. I know. And, and what I like about you, and I've, I've known George uh, uh, Garcia for many, many years. And uh, I really, uh, I've always liked Georgie and you know george garcia he's a good trainer and i know you work real hard with him and i always talk to him about you and he always lets me know that you're always training good and I'm, and that's what i want to hear awesome right. man awesome right. man that thank makes you good. thank you for uh coming out and showing your skills and yeah. i expect a good fight from you tomorrow hey thank you roger and, and i appreciate everything man you know you're you're you it's been really great talking with you and and you always really uh have given you a lot of support so thank okay. you man i really appreciate you man all right appreciate it. thank you all right this is Huh? Fidel OG Hernandez and this, again Roger Woods. Hey OG, so uh, it's been a pleasure working with you. Uh, you know, I'm a 24 7 matchmaker. You can call me anytime, and you've done it. We've talked extensively about this fight, and we've we finally got five solid fights. So it's 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 uh it's just the way matchmaking goes. But uh, tell us a little bit about yourself, OG, and how you got into. I know you box. I've known you since you're a young man, and uh, you've had a lot of amateur fights and professional fights. Tell us, tell us, tell the audience about yourself. So I'm from Los Angeles, and uh, I started boxing in uh, 1990 at the age of 13 years old, and um, I was national champion. I fought international, represented the United States against Canada and Ireland. Uh, made it all the way to the 96 Olympic trials. Um, I lost there, so then I turned pro in 96, fought 20 professional fights, and then I retired. Um, made a comeback after 16 years off, made a comeback at 20, in 2017 at the age of 40, and people were started calling me OG because I was 40 years old fighting all these young cats. And, um, yeah, it stuck, it stuck with me. And uh, just to stay in the game after retiring, I said, I'm going to promote. I'm going to see what this is all about. I mean, boxing is in my blood, yep. and uh, this is a way to stay in it. Yeah. And, uh, and that's the way boxing is. It gets in your blood, and you want to be involved some way, whether it's a promoter, a fighter, or trainer, cut man, whatever you want to be. Uh, I've been involved in since I was 10 years old, and I've known you for since a, a long time. And uh, uh, when I got back in the game, I, I seen you starting out. And I'm always looking for a, a small uh, promotional company that I can – uh, work with and grow with and i'm hoping that we grow this company we got some bigger stuff coming up and so we just gotta take one one fight at a time and just uh go up this you know yeah so make, uh, make good fights that's what i want i want competitive fights that's what i try to do is make competitive boxing matches yeah of course um like i said uh i love the the sport of boxing you know it saved my life and um trying to give back and trying to bring these exciting fights to the crowd you know we don't want these mis mixed match fights that people already know who's going to win we want to we want the crowd to be excited standing up and cheering you know because we gave them a good show and they, right. that, they'll keep keep them coming back that's it that's all we want all right roger um thanks for all your help and uh let's keep it going all right we will thank you thank you all right bye-bye all right roger woods again and uh i'm here with uh Diego Zubik, I uh, had the pleasure of meeting him through. He called the promotional company uh, and asking for a fight, so we brought him in. And uh, he's going to go against Anthony John Simone tomorrow in a 147-pound welterweight fight, four rounds. Um, right now, Diego is 2-0 and as a professional. And uh, tell us a little bit about yourself, um, Diego and how you got into boxing. I know you go to uh, college and, you, you know, I always like that. Uh, go ahead and tell us about yourself. You know. Well, you know, first and foremost, I just want to thank God for everything. You know, I'm a big Christian and, uh, you know, I want to bring that, you know, bring that into the sport. I know a lot of athletes, uh, you know, they don't make that. It, maybe it's not very popular to say that or behave like that. But, you know, in today's day and age, I just 
want to thank God and thank Jesus for right. everything, good and bad, and just everything you know, wake for waking me up this morning. So, yeah. you know, I want to thank God for I want to thank God for everything. You know, thank you, Jesus, for bringing me here and sitting me in front of you. We can talk and communicate, and that's a win right there. So we're already winners. We're all blessed beyond measure just for that. You know, yeah. so. But as far as getting into boxing, I've been boxing since I was a little kid. My dad loved it. You know, just same thing as other. You know, there's football families, baseball families. Mine was a boxing family, so. They all couldn't box too well. I was the best boxer in the family. So here I am and uh, looking to make a career out of it. But, you know, I go to school. I'm a student, a biology student, maybe med school down the road or who knows what that entails. But right now I like kicking people's butts. So that's what I'm here to do. You know, that's, you that's what I'm here to do. Yeah. And uh, I think uh, we're going to have a good fight with uh, Simone. And uh, I think uh, you do well. And uh, like I said, I tell all the fighters you're going to do uh, have a good competitive boxing match. So. We'll see how it goes and how everything shakes out. And uh, good luck in the fight tomorrow. And thank you for showing up and coming in. And uh, we'll get this all squared away and we'll get ready to go tomorrow. Thank you for having me. I can't all wait right. for this and do the next one. And real quick, you're a big Raiders fan. What, what, what are your thoughts on the upcoming season? What are you thinking? Super Bowl. <laughs> Super Bowl? Yeah, I'm, I'm hoping if me, I'll go there no, with you. I, as far as the Raiders go, I just hope they get to the playoffs, you know. Oh, man, I'd be happy. So, I love the head coach. And, you know, I like Aiden O'Connell. I think he yes. could be something special. So, yeah, yeah I like him, too. I mean, they, they, I think they got to keep him. But we'll see. You know, we just have to see what happens. We'll have to see what happens. But uh, either way, God bless you. I'll see you tomorrow. All right. God go Raiders. You. Go Thank Rebels. You. Thank you. I'm here with uh, Elijah Sweat. He's out of uh, Las Cruces. Yeah, Las Cruces, New Mexico. Okay. So, uh, actually uh, – Elijah Sweat is back with OG Boxing. He he fought for us uh, before, and he fought uh, Benjamin Rose, and he beat him in a four-round decision, knocked him down, I think, in the second round. But uh, it was an exciting fight. Uh, they had a really good war going on there, and uh, Elijah beat him. So here we are, and uh, Elijah, thank you for coming, and uh, tell us a little about yourself and how you got into boxing. Oh, You're, uh, wasn't your father a fighter? Yeah, my father fought a little bit. He never actually went actually amateur fights or anything like that. He just practiced at the Boys and Girls Club. Oh, okay. So, yeah, he, he practiced a little bit. He fought. He was actually good. He was taller, though. I, oh. I got the short end of the stick. <laughs> All right, tell us about your, yourself, how well, you got into boxing and stuff like that. Well, I always uh, I played football. I always wanted to do boxing, but my mom was a little too scared about all that stuff. You know, too many hits to the head. So uh -huh. I started doing it when I was 21. I've been doing it for three years now, cross, uh, practicing at Crosstown. And I, I used to be a heavyweight at first, and but now I've got down, got down to the right weight and feel healthy, and yeah, yeah. got my technique all worked out. We're better at boxing and everything like right. that. So, yeah, and then like like I've told all the guys, I expect a real good fight tomorrow, and I think it's going to be uh, good. So, um, good luck on your match tomorrow, and then uh, anything else you'd like to tell anybody out there and yeah. watch the fight or whatever you want to tell them. I'll just, I'll just say, everybody, expect a good fight. We're going to have a war out there, and I want to thank God and thank my family and my, my little daughter back at home, and God bless everybody, you, you know. And thank right. you guys for all the opportunity as well. We're glad to be back out here. All right. Yeah. <laughs> we, we hope to bring you back soon. Yeah, I, we, I, want, I want to. I like it. I oh, love yeah. the environment. All right. All right. <laughs> all right. Thank you. Thank you. Bye-bye. Andrew Woods again with uh, OG Ring Girl Marissa. She's <laughs> had some experience on different uh, promoters, uh, Tell us a little bit about your uh, why you do it and uh, um, how do you like? Uh, just tell me your experiences being a ring girl. Um, I mean, I love it. I've worked with a couple different boxing uh, companies locally here, um, and then I've also done uh, MMA with Rough Nation um, for a couple years now, and I love it. I just love the excitement and the atmosphere that all the fans and everybody brings, and that how everybody's just so hyped up about everything. And I I just love the I just love the atmosphere. Oh, good. Yeah. And I, um, have you uh, worked with OG before? I have not. This will actually be our first fight together, so oh, I'm excited. Oh, okay, good. Hopefully it continues. You yeah. Know? But uh, uh, we just wanted to try to interview everybody that's involved in the OG boxing promotions and uh, Green Girls is a big part of our, our company. So For sure, for sure. <laughs> so we'll see what's going on. So uh, what do you do, I mean, besides this? Do you um, I do. I used to do a ton of different promotions and different gigs and work for as an event coordinator, um, music videos, stuff like that, all okay. in the industry. Um, but now I kind of shifted over a little more to boxing and 
I mean, I love it for the most part. Like I said, just the excitement and like everything that it brings and all the preparation that it takes to put on a whole show is just, it's super, it's super exciting. All right. Great. It's, uh, it's a pleasure meeting you and uh, see how it goes tomorrow. Awesome. All Sounds right. good. Thank you. Thank, Thank you, you so much. Bye -bye. I appreciate it. All right. Bye-bye. <laughs> Welcome to Scale, your executive director, Danny A. Bella and his constituents. We appreciate your patience in making this possible. Let's give ourselves a round of applause. Wow. Report time for fighters and coaches tomorrow is 5 o'clock. Our first bell, 7 p.m. Let's be ready. Tell your friends, tell your family. We'll be streaming live on Flash Media Sports as well. Please look for those links available on our social media platforms. Without further ado, it's time to bring up our first introductory bout of the evening. This is going to be a catch weight 174 plus one division. He is coming all the way from Las Rosas, New Mexico, representing Boss Town Boxing. He brings the record of two wins out of two, two defeats and plenty of equipment. His official weight. 173.2. His opponent hails from Hampton, Virginia, playing out of Phoenix, Arizona, representing against the Rose Gym. Help me welcome Thomas Born Killer
third bout of the evening. Within a catch weight, 163 plus one pound division. Again, for those unaware, in the state of Arizona in our boxing commission, they are allowed a one pound allowance given it is not a title fight at the professional level. Help me welcome first. Represents Iron Gloves Boxing, fighting out of Phoenix, Arizona. He hails from San Francisco, California. Slava, sexy man. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Yeah. 